Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video, using Universe Sandbox Square, we're going to talk about a very interesting star known as V-Hydra, where we've recently discovered something really unusual. Now this is actually a suggestion from uh, Facebook and this was um, by a person named as um, Justice Udell and I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Thank you Justice, um, I'm going to take a look at what this star has to offer to us and today you're going to learn something new about our galaxy, the Milky Way. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So first of all, let's actually go into the new simulation because I need to recreate the V Hydra system since it's not actually available in Universe Sandbox. Now V Hydra is actually a very old carbon star. It's a star near the end of its life. It's, uh, it doesn't have many years left, possibly a few thousand, maybe a few million years before it's actually going to expire. I'm going to take Betelgeuse because it's relatively large and rename it into the Hydra. Now, this is a very large star. Um, the size of the star, or at least the diameter of the star, is actually uh, several astronomical units. It, um, normally, Earth would be one astronomical unit away from the Sun, but this is actually much larger at something like 4.4 astronomical units in radius. So it's basically 4.4 uh, times larger than the distance from our Sun to our Earth. Now, around this star, around this V Hydra, there is actually um, Another companion star that orbits uh, a, a relatively far distance, but we don't really care about that star because it doesn't really um, do that much. It's just orbiting somewhere out there. So we're going to kind of ignore it. But what scientists have discovered about this unusual star is that every few years, specifically, I believe every nine years, this star throws out a very, 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 very large Mars-sized uh, fireball or basically a bowl of plasma that essentially seems to just kind of fly into the distance and escape into the uh, outer solar system of that system. Now, we don't really know why this happens, or at least we didn't know, until very recently where scientists have finally realized what may actually be happening here. And I'm going to explain to you what's going on. So basically, um, this is what scientists seen. They see these really, really energetic, very large fireballs uh, flying um, out of this system, and there's actually a bunch more over there, um, every few years, and uh, usually its uh, total mass is about mass of Mars, and it's essentially just fire plasma. It's, it's basically made out of um, plasma from the actual star, and it flies out into space and then kind of dissipates slowly. Now, they were trying to figure out what's going on, and then they finally realized, well, this is probably what's happening here. There's probably a much smaller star... And here I'm just going to name it Unseen Companion, and it basically orbits in a relatively elliptical orbit. It's a, probably a very compact star because otherwise it would have already combined with um, V Hydra. And as it orbits around um, V Hydra, it approaches it very, very closely at its periapsis, basically right around here. It's going to approach the star really closely, steal some of its material. Basically, it starts kind of acquiring the material from the surface here. And as it uh, starts leaving the uh, periapsis, as it basically flies away from this region, this is when that material that accumulated here, that we can basically create by adding a few rings around uh, this star. So there's that uh, material that accumulated. It, it then sort of uh, flies away out of this um, star's orbit and fires always in the same sort of direction essentially leaving the orbit of this Unseen Companion and then flying away into the outer solar system. Now, in this case, it actually accidentally uh, turned around and is going to basically collide with, um, with V-Hydra, but we're going to try this again. Let's launch another Mars going this way. We're going to zoom into it and let's actually see if it actually flies away this time. And it looks like we did it. So this is the fireball that it escapes from the system and is basically being fired by the interaction of that smaller star that um, you know, we don't actually have a name for, but we're just going to call it Unseen Companion because we don't really see it otherwise. And of course, uh, V-Hydra, which is a very, very, very large red giant at uh, the end of its life. Now, this is actually a really cool finding because uh, we've never seen this before. We've never really realized that such a thing can exist. But it took scientists uh, quite a few uh, months of analysis to try to figure out what exactly is actually happening here. And as you can see, my fireball is actually cooling down really fast. So I have to keep the temperature up just so that it stays as a fireball. Because this is actually plasma that's slowly going to fly out of the solar system and then dissipate and 
possibly um, disappear into space or maybe even create some kind of an unusual effect that we were yet to study. But this is what happens in this particular system known as V-Hydra and this kind of gives you an idea that there's actually quite a lot of different things that we still don't know about our galaxy our even our own solar system of course and that there's actually quite a lot of various stars out there that have some really really cool things that happen around them and you can see we're now living v hydra and we're living that unseen companion that you see in the distance and anyway so that's all i wanted to talk about in this video you can check out more about um, this particular finding in uh, one of the articles uh, on the web and i'm posting one of them in the description below so you can definitely check it out and thank you so much, uh, Justice, for actually sending me this link, because it's actually something really interesting and something that I didn't, didn't really know about uh, myself. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to explore more space science and math uh, secrets and possibly learn something else. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't. I'll see you guys in the next video. And do follow me on Twitter if you actually want to uh, keep in touch or if you want to be aware of when I post new videos. You can contact me on Facebook or, or Twitter anytime. And you can also join my Snapchat because I started using this very actively. I'll see you guys, game later, and as always, bye-bye. And it looks like because I accelerate time, my V-Hydra and my Unseen Companion decided to part ways. Well, that's not cool. But if I enable realistic mode here, it's probably going to go supernova. And there we go. I think I've just turned Hydra into uh, a completely different type of star. Because I, th I believe it actually did go supernova. And I did it again. So here you go. This is the V Hydra's Nova Remnants. What a beautiful creation. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.